the trash can. What would be the correct definition of this most important receptacle for garbage? You might be surprised with the multiple answers there are to this simple question. For example, is a trash receptacle defined as an actual can or can it be a hole in the ground? You pop the lid of gar your garbage bin and drop trash in it every day. But have you ever stopped to think about why you use it, this container? With access to trash cans and dumpsters around our homes, schools, workplaces, restaurants, streets and more, they have become fixtures in our lives that we take for granted. Hello, hello reviewers, welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you trash receptacle, trash bin or trash can design ideas for your inspiration. You can use these designs to try to make your own pieces at home. So we advise you to watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. Your subscriptions, likes and shares are what inspire us to create more content. Therefore, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Imagine a world without the garbage can. For many centuries, people did without them. Before the cans and bins we know and love became household items, trash was thrown into the streets, buried in holes, and even dumped into water bodies. Clearly, for the purpose of improving sanitation, odor, and more, there needed to be a better way to dispose of waste. Let's talk about the journey of the humble trash can through the timeline as it evolved to meet our changing needs through the ages. We will start from the early ages. The garbage of the ancients were very different from today's trash. In early human history, waste was mostly ash from fires, wood, bones, and vegetable waste. The edible portions of it were used to feed animals and what remained was put in the ground to decompose. The excavation of ancient rubbish dumps by archaeologists reveals minuscule amounts of ash, broken tools, and pottery, meaning early civilizations reused and repaid what they could rather than dumping it. Other strategies were employed to dispose of waste. Large dump sites were used to deal with excessive garbage that couldn't be reused or given to animals. On the Mediterranean island of Crete, citizens dug large pits and threw waste in them. Such dump sites were the norm for a long time and burning trash was an equally popular solution. Sometimes people opted for the most convenient, though most unsanitary, idea to rid themselves of garbage, throwing it out of their doors and windows, where it piled on the street. Around 200 AD, to cope with a growing population's garbage, the Romans devised the first sanitation force. This consisted of teams of two men walking alongside the streets to pick up and toss garbage into a wagon that transported it to a remote site. When you look at the Middle Ages, a common practice during the Middle Ages in Europe was throwing trash into the streets. When it piled up, this garbage caused a terrible stench, harbored rats and other pests, contaminated water supplies and facilitated the spread of diseases like the infamous Black Plague.
Siripasa Team 50 recognizing the dire need to prevent such unsanitary conditions, Britain passed a law that mandated clean front yards. Unfortunately, this law was not upheld with any real effort, and most garbage continued to be either burned outside in fires or left near houses and in the streets. In 1354, King Edward III ordered English rakers to wake all refuse from streets and alleys and remove it once a week. These men were early versions of today's gar garbage men. With the waste they collected, the rakers often drove their cart loads to the Thames or Fleet rivers to dump some. Wagons and carts like those of the rakers soon became common for carrying trash out to bury in large holes and unload into rivers and oceans. In 1388, the English Parliament banned dumping waste in public waterways and ditches. In the Americas, with the swelling populations in urban centers and greater amounts of materials and machinery used in mass-producing goods, new ideas were called for to manage public waste and protect public health. Circa 1757 Despite the new laws, trash continued to be dumped in the streets and in front of houses. In America, Ben Franklin started the first street cleaning service and encouraged the public to dig pits to dispose of their waste. In 1842, a report in Great Britain linked disease to filthy environmental conditions and ushered in what is called the Age of Sanitation. However, this movement took time to enact in America. In 1864, health officials in Memphis, Tennessee became aware of a possible connection between the spread of yellow fever in the Memphis area and the garbage being dumped throughout the city. To minimize the threat of disease, the disease residents were instructed to take their garbage to specific locations on the edge of town. Laws also started being passed to stop trash dumping in the streets. In 1866, New York City's Metropolitan Board of Health declared war on garbage, forbidding the throwing of dead animals, garbage, or ashes into the streets. In 1908, in America, dumping waste in the most convenient location was still permitted. People would dump in the ocean wetlands or any available wasteland and still no trash comes. First appearance of the garbage bin. Finally, a solution and a waste cleanup system came into place and is reflective of what we still use today. In 1875, garbage collection became an official system in England. The first garbage receptacle appeared, which was used to store ash from burned waste. It was emptied on a weekly basis and residents were charged even if the bin was empty. The beans were made of metal, wood, or even buckets people had lying around.
well dear viewers as you can see in the video we have compiled a number of interesting trash receptacle trash bin or trash can design ideas for your inspiration which one is your favorite and why let us know in the comment section by now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your projects from time to time if you like our content please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos thank you for watching until the end we look forward to seeing you in our next video until then stay safe and stay blessed